Hello, hello, hello. How are you all doing today? It is Saturday, and I know I missed um, Thursday night because I have my grands, so I thought I would come on, and my daughter just picked them up so a little while ago. Hey, Kathy. So I thought I would come on and make one of the Easter kits. Um, I'm going to be making this one, the Egg Hunt. So, hello, Kathy. Congratulations on selling that wreath. Hey, Melanie, how are you? All right, so I'm going to show you um, how to do your wreath form. Thank you, Muriel, you as well. And then I'll show you everything that comes in this kit um, so this can go ahead. So it comes with the 14-inch um, wreath form and then 25 pipe cleaners. So you'll need 12 full pipe cleaners and then three that I'm going to go ahead and cut in half. And this kit, hey Nancy, and the other one that I'll show you later is going to be made pretty much exactly the same way. So, all right, so what we're going to do is you see this crossbar here. We're going to take a full pipe cleaner and you're going to put it right on the first one there, the inner row, and then I'm just going to put a little dab of glue. And then I take a half pipe cleaner and I do it on the same crossbar on the third row. Good afternoon, Nancy. How's it going? Okay, so that's what I do on all of the crossbars. Thank you for sharing, Linda. And then I'm going to take in between these two crossbars, I'm going to put it on the third bar right in the middle. Or, you know, it doesn't have to be in the middle perfectly, but hello, hello, hello. How are you guys? All right, so that's what we're going to do all the way around. Hey, Sandy. Hey, Pat. So my husband and I are a little exhausted. <laughs> I have the four kids for two days, but it's a good exhaustion. You know how that is. Hey, Barbara, how's it going? Hey, Sandy. So this is the first chance I've really gotten to come on. So I wanted to show you guys one of these kits. Thank you so much for sharing, Barbara. I really appreciate that. How are you guys all doing on this lovely Saturday afternoon? Okay. Hey, Janet from Texas. Welcome. How are you? Hey, Sandy. Thank you guys for sharing. Very much appreciated. Thank you for sharing the love. As you guys know, I'm trying to get that 10,000. Hey, Pat. I know, it's been crazy. Hey, Deborah. So, yeah, my one grandson had a soccer game at 7 a.m. And another one had one at 7.40. So, my husband took those two to that one. Hey, Lynette, how are you? Hey, Connie. And then the first one had a soccer game at 904 so he took the first two to the early ones hey Sharon how's your uh, broken rib and then I took you know him to the nine o'clock one which so we're a little tired thank you for sharing very very much appreciated Sharon is my sister and she broke a rib and then it moved on her the other day hey from Mississippi Elizabeth thank you for sharing Muriel So, yeah, so we're a little tired, <laughs> you know, but it's a good tired. Hey, Neely, how are you? Hey, Kim, how's it going? I know it's like, well, should I go on now or wait till tonight? And I thought, if I wait till tonight, I might fall asleep. <laughs> so I'm going to come on right now and do it for you guys. Hello, 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 Kim. So this is just how I make my um, wreath forms. You, If you have another way that works for you. You are more than welcome to do it any way that works for you. This is just kind of the system that I came up with that I like to use. So you're more than welcome to use, you know, the system that works for you. I just like this way, so that's how I do it. And as Lori Jacobs always says, there's no rules in reading. So whatever works for you is the best way to do it. So what have you guys done this weekend? Anything fun? I played bingo with the kids. 
I played um, a card game with them. You know, because all they want to do... Hey, Gwen, thank you so much for sharing. Um, all they want to do is play on their Kindles. You know, they want to play the video games. So we try to limit them as to how much they can play and then, you know, play games with them and stuff like that. So, but of course they never want to put the Kindles down. But we only let them play usually for like an hour a day. <laughs> and then they have to do something else. So, hey, Anne, how's it going? All right, so we're just about done here. And then I'll show you everything that comes in this kit. And thank you for sharing, Stephanie. I appreciate that. So you are going to have some pipe cleaners left over. Um, some you can use for the sign, but I always give, you know, plenty um, to make sure you have enough. If some break or whatever, whatever you want to do. Oh, wow. Awesome, Blanche. That's great. I know I've made a bunch already, too. Um, I'm going to show you that right now. So, hey, Sarah. So what comes in this kit, I don't need that anymore, sorry, is the wreath frame and 25 pipe cleaners. Sorry. Hi. Oh, sorry. 25 pipe cleaners. You get this sign. It's a metal sign. Hello, Regina. Hello, Janice. You get two um, of the deco mesh tubing. You get four rolls of three yards of ribbon, which is plenty. Okay, so you get these four rolls. And what else? Oh, and your 21-inch um, white mesh, which is what we're going to use here. So that comes in this kit. And so there's two other kits. Um, this one comes with pretty much the same thing except for two different, I think a yellow and a pink, um, a yellow and a pink tubing. And then this bunny kit comes with orange mesh, this ribbon, and some chevron, and another ribbon. So this one is the only one that's a little variation of it, but um, you'll use the same technique for all of the um, for all of the wreaths. So we're going to do the um, poof method. So we will go ahead and get started. And this, I mean, you don't have to let this dry or anything. Um, the signs I found at a wholesaler. So I have seven kits of each. Um, no, I take that back. I might only have five left now because I know I sold a couple. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to do the poof method. And we're going to go ahead and start on the inner row. So, um, Terry. Oh, good, Kathy. On the very first row, we have six full-size pipe cleaners. And on the third row, we have one full pipe cleaner on I did Blanche <laughs> we have one full size in between and then one half size on the crossbar I don't use the streamers in the crossbars so what you're going to do is you're going to do your um, frame and then like I said we're going to do 21 we're going to use 21 inch mesh sorry let me take the tape off this Hey Sandy, how's it going? And we're going to do the poof method. So you guys know I love my mesh holder. So we're just going to take and gather this together. Okay. Oh, thanks, Kathy. Okay. And then we're going to start. I start on the top row. Okay. And you just want to do, you know one or two twists because that's the only one we're going to undo to um, when we get back to the beginning. So I'm going to do 12 inch poofs. I'm going to open up this pipe cleaner. No, but if you want one, I can get one made for you. Yeah, I got this um, apron from um, so, uh, so Cute by Katie, I think it is. I know, I love it. Okay, so we're going to do 12 inch poofs on the top row. And just go around 
the top and you just want to um, do the twist about two times. You don't have to do it a lot. Okay. And if you don't already get a live notification, you can type in live and just make sure you follow the directions that my bot is telling you to do. Otherwise, it will not work. Okay. We're just going to go around the top the same way. Um, I don't know what brand of mesh this is, to be honest, Kathy. I got it from, um, where did I get it from? Sims Pottery. I ordered it from Sims Pottery. I'll have to look on the, the thing. Hey, Kathy, how are you? Oh, I know. I love the burlap. Yeah, I like that, too. Definitely. Thanks, Kathy. All right, so with this one, we're going to be back at the first, the very first one that we started with. So I do open that up when I get to this one. This is the only one I'm going to open up. I just open it up when I get back to the very beginning. Okay. Yes, 12-inch poofs. Uh, it was exhausting, Pam, but it was good. Thank you for asking. <laughs> Okay, so that's the top layer. Okay, so we're down. We're back to the first one. So now we have the half pipe cleaner right here. Okay, so what you're going to do is you're going to take your mesh and you don't want to yank on it. You just want to um, bring it down and tie it. And again, we're going to open this one up when we get back to the beginning. So, hey, Ellie, how are you? I know it's you're watching it for a week, Sandy. Oh, it's exhausting. It's exhausting. Okay, so then we're going to do the 12 inch poofs again, and you're going to put them in all of the pipe cleaners on the bottom, and just twist the pipe cleaners twice. Now those half pipe cleaners, what I do is I, when I put the mesh in, because we're not going to be putting the ribbon tails in, so I'm going to twist that, you know, a couple times. And then what I do is I take them and I wrap it around these crossbars just to get them out of the way because I'm not going to use them. Okay, so that's the only thing I use those for. I don't put any, um, I know they are fun. I know, I don't know what I would do if they ever moved away. I think I'd be heartbroken <laughs> because we do so much with them. You know, between the soccer and, you know, all that kind of school stuff. It's just fun to do. And I just twist the ties twice. The ones that I'm going to put the um, tails in. But the half pipe cleaners. Whoops, it's getting caught on my other mesh here. The half pipe cleaners, I just go ahead and get them tied down. Because we're not going to use them. And that's just my preference. Like I said, if you like to do it another way, you are more than welcome to do that. Okay, and then I'm just going to wrap them around the frame to get them out of the way. I know you are going to have to go on vacation, Sandy, because that is exhausting. Okay. likes to get caught on itself so sometimes you have to yank it yeah we had them fr uh, Thursday I guess we got them Thursday after school and then um, my daughter and son-in-law picked them up this afternoon at like 2 30 and my poor daughter looked exhausted because she she's I said you look so tired she said well she was on a, the winter retreat with the kids at with the teens at church and she was like well Friday, Thursday night we were up till 4.30, and then someone's alarm went off at 5.30, and then someone else's alarm went off at 6, so she was exhausted. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, you're going to be so tired, and then she said, I guess last night they didn't go to bed till like 3 or 4 again. I'm like, well, what do you expect? It's a teen retreat. <laughs> you know, all the teens are going to stay up and, you know, talk with all their friends and that kind of stuff, so... We're getting there. So 
So we're getting close to 10,000. We're still, I think, at 9,600 or something like that. So if you guys would share, please, please, please. Like I said, I'm trying to get to that 10,000 likes. So we are getting closer. Okay. Almost back at the beginning here. Thank you for sharing, Regina. I appreciate that. Thank you, Sharon. All right, we're getting there. Now, what I like to do when I use um, this mesh, a lot of times I will do this. Sometimes you don't have to. But when you use the white mesh especially, I feel like it's a little more see-through and thinner. So what I like to do is I will then go back around and do a crisscross method after I do the poofs. Thank you, Melanie. I appreciate that. We are getting there. Hey, Susan, how are you? All right, kind of pull my pipe cleaners out because I always tend to lose them in there. Okay, so we have one more half one to go, or a full one, and then we're back at the half one where we started. Hey, Diana, how are you? So when you do it this way, when you do the 12-inch poofs and then do the zigzag, you pretty much use... Um, Oh, me? Oh, I don't know. A lot. <laughs> I don't work out of the home right now. I'm getting a job in March, which I really don't want to do, but got to do it. So, all right. So we're back at the first one, and I am going to untie that. But I do a lot for this wreathing business. I work a lot of hours for this wreathing business. I mean, you know, just to, like, get a kit... You know, like to make a kit to sell to you guys, it takes me hours and hours because, you know, by the, I have to find all the stuff and, you know, get it together and see if I like it and order it and then get it. And, oh. All right, so that is the base right now. And like I said, what I do is I go back then and I do the, what I call is the crisscross with it. So right now we're on the back row. So now I'm just going to take it. I don't really do loops. I kind of just gather it together like this. And then I'll go to the top row, to the next full pipe cleaner. Okay, and this will help fill in where it looks a little thin. Oh, no, Susie. Sorry to hear that. Okay, so now we're at the top row. Then we will go to the bottom row to the next full pipe cleaner. And I'll do like half the wreath and I'll show you the difference that this makes when you do this a little bit. Okay. So then we're going to go to the inner row. And I don't untie my ties. I just keep going with them. Like I said, it just kind of helps to fill in. So we'll do that. Oops. Sometimes, oops, sometimes it sticks on itself. Okay. And then we're going back to the bottom row. Okay, so let me just show you the difference. I don't know, it might be kind of hard to see on the screen. My mesh doesn't want to pull out. Okay, so this is the half that I have the poofs in, so you can see. Okay, and then 
this is the half that I don't. So you can kind of see how much thinner this is over here and how full this is over here. Um, I have Blanche. I have um, my chiropractor has them in his um, office. So that's nice. That helps. So now we're going to go back to the top row. And again, I don't measure these. I just kind of pull it. It just kind of helps to um, fill it in a little bit. Yeah, I have them in there right now. Um, I haven't put them in anywhere else yet. I need to do that. Okay, back to the bottom row. And again, you're only using your full pipe cleaners for this row also. Let's fill that out. Okay, and then back to the top row. And like I said, this will pretty much use your whole roll of mesh when you do this method. But it does help to fill in, I find, hey Sherry, oh no problem Bev. I help it finds, especially with the white or your basic mesh, it helps to fill it in a little more. Yeah, I, I really, craft shows are a pain. <laughs> Pat, Pat speaking German. Hey Donna, how are you? You're cold in Phoenix? Woo. Well, if you're cold there, then we're in trouble. Oh, thank you, Pat. I appreciate that. They are too much work. Do you saw all the long pipe cleaners? Do you saw all the long pipe cleaners? No skipping. Um, I'm only using the full pipe cleaners for this set. For this um, back and forth. So the half pipe cleaners we only used for that first initial go around. And then um, the this row where you're doing the zigzag, I do not use. So we're done using that, the half pipe cleaners. Okay, so we're back. Hey, Kathy, how are you? All right, so I think we're back at the beginning here, which we are. This mesh is just sticking to itself like crazy. Oh, thank you, Pat. I was like, you're talking German to me, Pat. You know I can't speak German. My sister Pat is a German interpreter. All right. So this is, we're back at the beginning. Okay. So then what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this off. So we pretty much used the whole roll. I mean, there's a little bit left on it, but not much. Okay. So then what I do... I am feeling better, but you know what? Oh, thank you, Sherry. I'm really, I'm tired, so my my voice is going in and out right now. <laughs> All right, so then I'm going to pull that that I cut off to the back, and I'm just going to zip tie it to the wreath frame. Oh, 32? Whew, yeah, it's, it's in the 30s here today, but it's not too bad. And then I'm going to cut this off. Oh, Chicago. Whew. Then you want to take that, um, the zip tie, and twist it to the back so it doesn't scratch the wreath, the, someone's door. Okay, so this is that half pipe cleaner, and that's the one I twisted around because we're not going to use them. Okay, so I'm just going to get all my pipe cleaners out, make sure I can find all of them. Okay, so now... It comes with the four rolls. Yes, they're still in my shop. Yep. The wreath. Um, we got a couple inches. Not much. Not much at all. All right. So it comes with these four rolls of mesh. Or ribbon. Sorry. Okay. I cut these to 12 inches because I do want to see some of the white coming through. So you will have about a yard of ribbon left. Okay. Okay. So then we're going to put these two together, and you can combine any two that you like. They all go together. So I'm going to put the bunny with the kind of, kind of looks like eggs, the dots. Fold it in half. And again, I cut these to 12 inches. I'm just going to gather them in the center. 
the frame is a 14 inch frame okay and then put it in each of the full pipe cleaners now I'm going to alternate the two sets of ribbons Oh, you were watching the UNC game? Okay, and then I'm going to, the second, next to that, I'm going to put the plaid and the eggs. Okay, again, fold it in half and just gather it together. Okay, and put it in the next twist tie. I kind of, I always like, you know, a lot of times I'll do the four different ribbons so you can alternate. So see, it's just a little bit of different, you know, colors, different look. Hey, Denise, how are you? Okay. And then just gather. All right. And go to the next twist tie on the top row. And you can do these on the top row, the bottom row first. It really doesn't matter. Hey, Myrna, how are you? I kind of like to start on the top row. Oh, I'm telling you, there's so much going around. There's so much going around. I mean, two of my grandsons had pink eye. One has an ear infection. One other one has impetigo. I mean, there's so much going around. So, hey, Laura Jean, how are you? Welcome. Hey, Jessica from Michigan. Okay, so we're going to put this in here. Oh, awesome, Laura. Did you like it? Yay. All right. So we only cut six of each of these ribbons because we only need six because we're only using 12 of the ties okay and then we're going to put it in here hello maria from rhode island how are you okay all right so we have one more on the top I cut six of each of the ribbon tails and I cut them to 12 inches. Hey, Stephanie. Oh, thanks, Kate. Hey, Sharon from Michigan. How are you? Oh, good, Laura. Yeah, that ribbon. I love that ribbon. Hey, Diane. Hey, Carrie. All right, so we have the top row done here. Oh man. Sure. The pink ribbon is has little bunnies on it. Okay, so the top row is done. So that's what it looks like with the top row. All right, and now we're going to do the bottom row. The same thing. We're going to alternate. Okay. If you don't get live alerts and you want alerts, type in live. Yes, absolutely, Alicia. Yep. Yep, it will be on my page so you can <clears throat> you can see exactly how I did the pipe cleaners. And like I said, it's just how I do it. If you have another way that you like to do it, why stop not move something wrong video? Okay, so now we're just going around the bottom row doing the same thing. Where did you find the handy box? Oh, this came from Michael's. Oh, you got it, Barbara? Good. Okay. Yeah, I only have, I think, maybe five of each kit left. I have the three different kits. So, um, like I said, they're in my Etsy shop, so go ahead and get in there and get them ordered. Oh, no problem. Yep, it, it will be on my page. So, um, if you got this kit or the other, um, the chick kit, 
it's going to be exactly the same thing. It's just I think I put in a different color of um, tubing. No problem, Ellie. Thanks, Diane. All right, just about around here. And like I said, I did the 12 inch poofs around and then I went back and did the crisscross method and then the ribbon streamers are cut to 12 inches and I cut six of each ribbon because you only need six of each since you're just, um, the kits are $50. And like I said, it comes with everything, um, the pipe cleaners, the wreath, the wreath base, the sign, the mesh. Hey, Pam, how are you? <clears throat> I was waiting for these signs forever. I ordered these signs back in January, and they finally just came in. I was like hoping they would come in a lot sooner. They were supposed to be in by the 1st of February. But that didn't happen. So, hey Shannon, thank you so much. All right, so the last set of ribbon tails here. Okay, now I just wanna show you, and this is just a preference for me, why I don't put um, the ribbon tails in all of the pipe cleaners on the bottom. Why I only put them on the um, full pipe cleaners. And that's just me. Um, Kathy, they're in my shop. They're in my Etsy shop. I put a link in the um, description, but I can post it again. Oop. Okay. I know, don't they? I really like this. There's the link to my Etsy shop. And like I said, there's three different kits. Um, you can order them. You know, you can order all three or just one or whatever you want. Okay, so you see how the top is really full with the ribbon, right? And then the bottom, if I put streamers here, they would be right on top of each other. But I like to see a little bit of the mesh, okay? So that's why the bottom, I don't put them in there. I kind of leave it. Um, Mary Ellen, I do, that's why I'm doing the live to show you exactly what you do with the kit. Okay, so now that that's done, we're going to go ahead and do the mess or the, the tubing. Okay. Um, these signs are metal, and I got them from one of my wholesale places. I know some people, when you order from them, it does take a long time to get them. So, let's put this over here for now. All right, so what I'm going to do, and this is, let me see, how many, this is, I think, 12 yards. So, we're going to order them, or we're going to cut them to thank you all right so we're going to cut them to about 30 inches and we need 12 of them and you know don't stress over being them being exactly the same size no big deal Sometimes the tubing gets a little twisted, so you just kind of have to untwist the knots and get it going again. Okay. Thank you, Shannon. I appreciate that. Six. Hey, 
Diane from Ohio. Diana, thank you. Hey, BJ. Oh, I hear ya. I hear ya. I do like working with the tubing. Yeah, I do. I think it adds a little dimension to your wreath. It just adds a little something extra. Kind of lost count how many. Yeah, I like the tubing. All right. Awesome, Mary Ellen. Thank you. Okay, so we're just about done. Okay, I should have cut this in ahead of time, but oh well. Hey, Barbara, how's it going? Okay. All right, so that's it. Okay, so then what I do with the tubing, this is all I do, is I just take it and I get that little kink out of there. I fold it in half, right? And if you cut them wonky and one's longer than the other, just cut them. No biggie. Okay, so I just fold it in half and then in half again. Okay, and you just make a little kind of bow with it, the little streamers. And then I just put one of these each in every full plate cleaner. Oh, no problem. Have a good dinner, Rose. Okay, and then you can kind of separate them out. And then I know I'm not going to put anything else into these twist ties. So what I do is I just take, you can take a pen, a pencil, anything, and I just roll my pipe cleaners down like that. Okay, so they don't stick up. And that's all you need to do. Okay. And just grab another set of tubing. Again, like I said, just in half. And then in half again. And don't worry about if it's wonky. That's the beauty of it, right? It's just adding a little texture to your wreath. Another layer of color. It doesn't have to be perfect. Yeah, I like the tubing too. And then, like I said, I just curl my, hey, Carol Ann, how are you? And then just keep going around. <clears throat> All right. So. Yeah, the tubing, it's, I think it just it adds another layer to it, that's all. And then, I, like I said, I just twist them. Yeah, it does. Yep, exactly. It doesn't matter, you know, it doesn't have to be perfect. I think kind of the wonky or the better, it kind of gives a little more character to it. Oh, how fun! fun Shannon that's great oh that's a lot of fun hey Barbara how's it going okay and then I do twist that a couple times once I'm done nope I don't cut them I make it part of the you know the decorative I just kind of curl them under to make it like a decorative part of the wreath that's all I don't you can cut them um you can, you know, like I said, it's all up to you and what you like to do. The ribbon tail's on. No problem, Deborah. Thanks for watching. You can always watch the replay. It will will be on my page. Yeah, I like the ribbon. I like the um, tubing. Hey, Nicole, how's it going? Okay. I'm just going to twist that. Yeah, if you want to cut yours off, you're more than welcome to cut them off. It doesn't really matter. It's totally up to you. So whatever your preference is, that's what you do. <clears throat> so again, all I do with it is I take it and fold it in half and in half again. And fix your streamers. 
Oh, Nicole. Oh, how'd that go? Did everything go okay? Oh, I bet that's, that's not going to be fun. Okay. All right. So we have the um, tubing around the top. And now we're going to do the same thing around the bottom. Yes, if you share it, yep, it'll be on your Facebook page. Exactly. If you share the video, then it will be on your page and you can find it there. Yes, please share. I'm trying to get to 10,000 likes on my page, if you would. Um, did you watch the video again, Barbara? It's not weird. We all struggle, struggle with different things. We all struggle with something. Oh, aren't they all needy, Nicole? <laughs> They're all needy. That's going to be a long recovery, though, right? Ugh. Um... Yeah, I would just, what I do, Barbara, when I'm struggling with something, is I just watch the videos over and over again, and I just keep doing it and doing it and doing it until I get it. Um, now, if you struggle with this and want to use the work frames, there's no reason why you can't use the work frames that are already made. I just prefer these. I don't know why. I'm weird. Thanks, Bev. I appreciate that. Yeah, I just like using these for some reason. Hey, Rochelle, how are you? Thank you. Yes, I'm so excited. I'm, I'm getting there. I think I'm close to 9,700. So hopefully I'll get there soon. Hopefully, hopefully. Me and you both. Oh, I'm so ready for it. I'm tired of the snow. Tired of the cold. But then we'll be complaining about the heat, right? <laughs> oh, let me pull that back out. Hey, Debbie, how are you? Welcome, welcome. Oh, I, I enjoy making my own. Yeah, I like these ribbons. Um, and they're like a know what material they are but they're almost I don't want to say burlap but I like the feel of these ribbons uh, yeah it's not bad here it's not too bad yep if you um, don't get my alerts when I go live type in live just make sure that you follow the directions that the bot is telling you to do. Otherwise, you will not be subscribed. Okay, so we are getting there. One more to go. Okay. Yes, all the ribbons are wired. Yep. Hey, Bev, how's it going? Usually poly deca mesh. No, the flex tubing isn't wired, no, but the ribbons, all the ribbons I use are wired. Sorry, I thought she was asking about the ribbon. Okay, so. All right. So now we have that all ready to go, okay? So you have the ribbon streamers on, the tails. Um... So this sign and this sign both have the exact same pieces, except for this one has, I think, pink and yellow flex tubing. And this one um, has the blue and yellow. Oh, Bev, how's your mom doing? All right. So the ribbon is two and a half inches. Yep. It's all two and a half. Yeah, two and a half. Yep. And you, you get four rolls of the three yards. Okay. So, now we're going to go ahead and attach the sign. This has a little hook there. 
Yes, yeah. All right, so it has that little hook there that we'll go ahead and use. You can use pipe cleaners or you can use um, wire if you want. Okay, so I'm just going to put that around there. Now, if you want to, okay, this is a little, oh good. Oh, I know, that's got to be hard. This is a little metal hole punch. I got this at, I think it was either A.C. Moore, oh, my face is flushed, either A.C. Moore or Michaels. And it just puts a little hole in the metal signs, okay? So I'm probably going to put it like right in the center here. Okay. And then it just creates this little tiny hole here. Can you see that? And then you can put a pipe cleaner right through there. Hey, Anna, how are you? Okay. All right. So we've got, like I said, you can use the pipe cleaners I because I give you guys plenty. It's a bead snip. Yeah. Or you can use wire. It's totally up to you. Okay, now I'm going to, you can put it in the middle, you can put it on the side, whichever you want. I'm going to make a little bow with the rest of the ribbon that you get. So I'm going to go ahead and attach it to the side. Um, it was in the 30s today. It wasn't too bad. So I'm going to run this pipe cleaner right through. Yeah, I can't see you, Kathy, remember? <laughs> I'm just going to tie that on there. And then I'm going to take this one. I'm going to kind of do it on a diagonal there. Feed it through the mesh. And I'm going to find a crossbar here. And I'm going to use that cross bar so that the um, sign doesn't kind of move back and forth on your wreath. <laughs> You're funny. Oh, uh, yeah, we're supposed to get a ton of rain tonight, too. It is not going to be fun. Okay, so then just kind of readjust here. All right, you can bend these ears, but look how cute that is. Love that. Now, you can just leave it like this, but I have a little bit, I have a yard of the ribbon left. So, I thought we would make a little bow. Let me see, what did I do with it? Oh, there it is. Okay. So, I'm just going to use, hello. I'm just going to use, like I said, I have a, a yard of each left. I just took it off the spool. Yeah, it's messy. Ugh. So I'm just going to do like seven inch tails. Oh, 65. Ugh. Yeah, it's not supposed to be nice here tomorrow either. So I'm just going to do little tails. I'm going to twist it here. I'm just going to do like four inch um, poofs here. Okay, put it in there and twist. Oh, you went, yeah, well, we're still in winter. And then four inches over here. And then you don't have to um, twist that. You can just pull that down. Okay. All right. And then I'm going to use this one. And again, just like seven inch tails. Oh, thank you, Bev. I'm going to put this tail up here. Okay, and then you want to twist it so that the pretty side of the ribbon is going to be up when you do your um, loop here. And again, I'm just doing this at four inches. And then I'm going to twist. Okay, 
Yeah, it's supposed to start raining here, and it's supposed to be yucky. And like all day tomorrow, it's supposed to rain. I don't know why my face gets so flushed sometimes. All right, so then I'm just going to do four inches over here. Okay, and then I'm going to put, so I have these tails up, these tails down. This is a um, easy bow maker. This is an easy bow maker. You can get this. Um, Michaels has them. AC Moore has them. You can get them if you use like a, a 40, um, a like 40% off ribbon. Hey, Sherry, you can get it for like $5 or something. Okay, again, we're just going to do seven inch tails. This time I'm going to put this tail here. You don't, I like my Pro Bow. I do. I love my Pro Bow. I know. All right, then I'm going to twist it so that the pretty side is up. Oh, Darlene, I'm sorry about that. Yeah, that is not going to be fun, I'm sure. Darlene's sister lost um, her three babies. I know, right, Blanche? It is, I'm telling you, it's crazy. Okay, so, see, I like the Pro Bow. All right, so we have our three, and we have tails here, tails here. I'm just kind of putting the tails all over the place, okay? And then the last ribbon. Okay, again, seven-inch tails. And this time I'm just going to go like three inches. Maybe I'll do eight inch tails on this. Yeah, this is good for smaller bows, definitely. The sale, the tubing at the dollar store to Walmart. All right, and then I'm going to do this um, just like three inches. Yeah, she lost the triplets. She was only like, was it five months pregnant? It's terrible. Okay, and then twist it. Hey, Jackie. All right, and then again, about three inches. And I'm going to put this tail here. Okay, so that's what the bow looks like. Kind of get it where you want it. And then I'm going to get my zip tie here. And get it around. Thank you, Sherry. I appreciate that. Are you ordered one? Oh, zip tie doesn't want to zip. Okay, I love, I do. I like the Pro Bow. All right, then you take your zip tie and bring it around to the back and get it right in the center there. Okay, and then before you zip tie that down tight, you want to get your bow kind of set up the way you want it. Okay, I'm going to pull these down, pull that up. Okay, put this up. Okay, and then I'm going to put a zip tie in here. Yeah, I do too. I, I'm a fan of the Pro Bow. I like it. And then pull this really tight. And then go ahead and cut this off. Okay. All right. So then I have to let me dovetail the ends here. My fluff box is right there, Kathy. Yeah, I came to. Hey, Robin, how's it going? Okay, again, I'm just dovetailing the ends here. Nothing special. Should have done it when I was doing it, but. I oh, did that one, did that one, did that one. Here's one. Okay, and then these two. Thank you, Georgie. Okay. All right. And then we'll get it on the wreath and then we'll fluff it again. <laughs> oh, I will show you. 
Thank you, Casey. How are you? So then I'm just going to kind of put, so here's the sign. I'm going to kind of put the bow like kind of across from it, but up a little bit. And I'm going to feed this into here. Thank you, Donna. And let's see. Get it into my wreath. Okay, I know. Me too. Okay, bring that in. If I can find the other end. Thank you. I know she did a great job, Casey. Thank you for your recommendation. Okay, so then we're going to. And if the tails are too long, we can curl them up. We can trim them down. Okay. Yes, I, yeah, I can't even imagine. And then what you can do, if you want, you can take a little Easter egg. I don't have one right here, too. Um, but you can maybe put it in the middle of the bow here. Hey, June, how's it going? Okay. And that's it. And then, of course, you know, you kind of have to Fix your bow as you go, fluff it up. Okay, so then that's it. And like I said, you'll use the same technique for the other one, the other two, like this one. Whoops, let me show you guys. This one is pretty much the same. Um, it just comes with different tubing. I think it's pink and yellow tubing. But this one comes with orange mesh and different ribbons. So this one you get the bunny ribbon with the orange and white chevron and that kind of stuff. So that's it. So like I said, I still have a couple of these left in my shop. If you guys are interested or if you want the finished wreath, let me know. Oh, the fluff box. Okay, so the fluff box. <laughs> People in my group are probably laughing. <laughs> a fluff box you use when I use the pearl bow. This helps you fluff out your bow when you make it. Um, you just basically can um, hook it onto this, and then you can pull on the ribbons, and it helps really to um, get the bow the way you want it. Is basically yes, Nancy. They're in my shop. I'm selling that. Those three different. Um, the three different Easter kits. Yep, I have three different ones. I know that is that's terrible when that happens. I can't even imagine. Oh my my niece is pregnant. I just found out my niece, my um my nephew's wife is pregnant. They've been trying for a little while. So yeah, I can't even imagine that, Darlene. Um Kathy, I make or buy what the kits I have the kits in my shop they're in my Etsy shop I have three different ones so there's three different signs um, so you can get those if you want um, I got these from my local um, well, not a local from one of my um, wholesale distributors and I think I am gonna have some of the sets of ribbon left if you just want to buy the ribbon sets oh awesome Blanche I think I am gonna have some of these left I have to double check um, but I can sell just the ribbon sets if you guys want the ribbons. Now, they're only 12 yards, but it's as you guys can see, it's plenty to do, you know, do a wreath the way I do it. So, all right, guys, that is it for me. And I will see you guys again Monday night. I'm so glad you like the ribbon. Yay! I know I love all that ribbon, too, so. And I will be praying for you definitely for that service because um, I can't imagine. Um, Velia, I'm selling them in. I'm selling them as kits in my Etsy shop. So the signs, um, they're just coming in the kits for right now. So because I don't have any extras unless I don't sell all of the um, kits. So all right, guys. Hey, Brenda, how are you? Thanks, Melanie. So if you buy this kit or the chick kit, it's going to be exactly the same procedure. Um, 
so you can just watch this this live to show you exactly how to make it and then the other one the bunny trail one I will make um, a, on another day so you guys can see that one so all right guys thanks so much and go check out the kits in my shop and I will talk to you guys on Monday have a great week rest of your weekend bye hey Brenda